Guys, today's eviction show was tension filled. It was scary. Emotions were high. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Trust me, guys. Everybody was scared, okay? Everyone was up for eviction this week, aside from the immunity holder and the custodians, okay? Those were the people that were safe for tonight's eviction. So, guys, the rest of the housemates were up for eviction. And the safety of these housemates to be or remain in the house would be in the hands of the viewers. Yes, guys. So the viewers are the ones to decide who stays and who leaves. Then the pairs that falls on the bottom four would be determined by the housemates. Okay, they would determine who would leave and who will stay. So guys, that was how this that's how this particular eviction show and the ones that will follow would be. Okay. So guys, Eboka came on the screen and the housemates on seeing him were things like they were all scared who would be going home this night okay so they were really really tense and Ebuka greeted them and you know called out the names of the people that had the least votes okay the names of the four pairs that had the least votes and he called out the checkers he called their trees he called their tammy and the radicals whoa they were all surprised they were scared who would be the person, who would be the particular pair that would be going out this night? And the rest of the pair that were not called out were really, really at ease, okay? You could see that calmness in their hearts, like, yes, at least we are free for tonight, okay? So, the rest of the four pairs, whoa, they were really, really scared, especially Onyeka, guys, the checkers girls. <laughs> Onyeka was crying, she was crying, her sister Chizoba was also crying, like, they took it very personal. <laughs> They didn't want to leave the house, guys. They were really crying. And, you know, the Tammy's pair, like, Toyosi was just smiling. She was wearing a smiling face. You know, she was just acting very unbordered. And her pair, Damnola, was just there. You know, and we also had the trees. Yes, the trees, Toby Ford and Mayor Froch. <laughs> they didn't even believe it. All right. They didn't believe it won't be. Toby Ford's um, face was just down. Mayor Froch, they were not even smiling at all. You know, Mayor Froch was just looking <laughs> guys they never expected that they will be called out okay and we also have the um radicals the radicals were just acting normal okay but you can see that they were all scared they were saying nobody wanted to leave the house okay so guys immediately after calling the four pairs to stand big brother called to the rest of the housemates pairs by pairs to come nominate the housemate that will be evicted this particular night okay so guys they all went into the diary room they nominated the pair that they would want to leave this night. And after which, Ebuka finally announced the pair that will be evicted for tonight. And that was the Tami pair. Yes, guys, the Tami pair. Toyosi and Damilola have been evicted from the Big Brother Niger. No loose guard. Yes, guys. So, the rest of the housemates were safe. And you could tell that they were really, really, really scared. Like, they were really scared. Okay. So, guys, after which, Damilola and Toyosi graced the big stage. Okay. And Ebuka asked them a question that, were you surprised that the housemates actually nominated you for eviction? Okay. And Toyosi was like, she's not surprised though. Um, after what happened in the house that the housemates were complaining about Damilola being rude, she had known that they would save them. Okay. That they would literally nominate them. Okay. And Damilola was like, well, she had apologized to the housemates after she heard that they were actually angry with her because of the way she spoke to them okay so she immediately apologized to them and she never knew that she was hurting anyone okay she immediately apologized to them because of that and it's obvious that her apology did not go anywhere that they had to nominate them <laughs> so guys that was what she said and you know Emuka asked what they would do afterwards after leaving the show and they said that well they don't know yet when they come out they will know what next for them so guys back to the nomination thing okay so we didn't see when the housemate um nominated a particular pair they want to leave the house okay but it was later released that before the rest of the housemates nominated the pair they wanted to leave the house okay we had the um custodians yes the indine come out first to save a particular pair and then the rest of the housemates will save one from the three pairs okay so the custodian chose to save the radicals then it was remaining the three pairs the trees the checkers and the timing so the rest of the housemates voted from those three pairs okay that was how it went so guys, after the eviction thing, the rest of the housemen that were nominated were very cold. Like, you will know that these people are actually scared. They were just keeping it to themselves. 
<laughs> and we have some of the housemates just going to meet Onyeka. Okay, they were like not showing her love like, to cheer her up. A lot of people that were nominated, they were very cold, like they were very, very cold. Okay, they were not as active as before. Why the rest that were safe were just bubbling, you know, they were happy, they were smiling. So that was how it went. And then Big Brother asked the housemates to prepare for their custodian challenge. Yes, guys. So the custodian challenge literally brightened some people's faces. Yes, it really did brighten some people's faces. People were hoping, praying that they would win this particular custodian challenge, guys. Imagine the Indian they prayed to God that they want to win this challenge. Like they were seriously praying, though. they were seriously praying that they want to win this challenge. They want to win this challenge. Ah, ah. Hey, guys, people on X were like, how greedy can the Indian they be? After winning the custodian challenge for last week, we want to win again this week. Okay. So guys, the beauty of this custodian challenge or the beauty of winning the custodian challenge is that it comes with a very enticing benefit, okay? Very, very enticing benefit, okay? And one of which is that they would automatically have immunity, all right? That means they are safe for next week eviction show. They are safe, okay? And again, they would have the power to influence nomination. Like, if there's a tie now, okay, they'll be the ones to determine who would be leaving or who would be safe, okay? So that is basically the beauty of winning the custodian challenge okay so guys this was how it went so for each pairs one person would be holding the fetcher okay who would be the one that will be fetching the items the four items from the pool of balloon then the partner of that pair would be a guide and an assembler so in that way everyone is involved in playing this particular game now the fetcher will be blindfolded and will stand close to the pool of balloon with the fishing bat okay to pick up the four items from the pool of balloons then the other partner would be the guide and the assembler. So he will collect what the person will pick up, pick up and go and assemble it. Okay, so that was how the challenge went. And the first person to actually go there and couple those things together was Ben from the better pair. Okay, so he was the first person to reach the table and start coupling. But we had other people that followed suit, okay? The mayor Frosch and um, this guy double K. So they were also there doing their things. So when they were done, they stood there and everybody told them that if you are done, go and sit down. Immediately they ran to sit down, okay? So guys, every other person was still struggling with doing their own, getting their own um, four items from the pool of balloons, okay? So after everything, a lot of people succeeded while some people did not succeed, okay? So they all went there and then Big Brother announced the winner for that particular custodian challenge. And guys, trust me, when Big Brother calls the winner, being the streets whoa you needed to see how these people were happy that's how they were jumping like they were relieved guys they were relieved you could tell that yes these people are actually very happy guys after the eviction show the streets were down like they were really really cold you could tell that these people are feeling so bad but immediately they won the custodian talent hey if you see the way they were excited, if you see the happiness, happiness choke everywhere. <laughs> All the housemates were just, you know, congratulating them. They were happy for them. So guys, that was how the custodian challenge went. And whoa, after this particular custodian challenge, okay, drama started immediately. What's going on from the better pay? What is going on? So the thing is, I actually witnessed when Ben was very furious and he was complaining to some of the housemates about his you know his best attitude towards him like asking him questions that he finds very annoying and very unreasonable to ask okay so he was like um cj was asking him that why would you allow those boys to win you like why would you allow them win you and i was like i don't understand it's not a game why would you allow those guys to win you okay so that was the conversation and Ben was really, really upset. You could tell that this guy was very upset. I don't know how um, TJ literally asked him that question, but I noticed that he was telling the housemate that this was what TJ said, okay? And she's about to went to meet TJ to confirm it. You know, and TJ said the same thing about it, and he gave a reason for saying that, okay? So that literally got Ben upset, okay? And he was like, isn't supposed to ask that kind of question. And guys, I totally agree with Ben. Okay, every normal person would be angry at such kind of question. You don't ask someone, why would you allow this person to win? Like the person intentionally allowed the other person to win. No. What actually made TJ to ask Ben that question is because, you know, while they were playing the game, Ben was the first person to reach the table to start coupling. 
okay, he was the first to start coupling. But along the line, we saw uh, Mayor Froch, we saw Double K equally coupling. But the thing is that Ben was not fast enough to couple. Okay, this is a game. It is not the first to start coupling. It's who finishes coupling first. Okay, so he was not able to finish coupling before Mayor Froch. That was what made Mayor Froch win the custodian challenge. All right, and that is nobody's fault. So for TJ to actually ask that kind of annoying question, it is very wrong and very, very much annoying. Okay, so I understand Ben's feelings. And this is not the right time to even start making people feel bad. Guys, TJ is becoming very, very unbecoming. Trust me. And I must say that I did not like the way he spoke to Ben. Okay, that is not a reasonable question to ask. Because if you were in his shoes, you wouldn't have even been the first to even get there or even copy. You might not even get anything. Okay, so that's just that about that. So guys, that is basically all for today's video. Thank you so very much for watching. Please do want to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more amazing, amazing updates on the Big Brother Ninja No Lose Guard Edition. See you guys in my next video. Until then, stay splendid.